Hi, it's me with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this video and they could find a font close to this, but without this H, fancy H, and I guess there's a couple other letters can't really see in the picture. I've kind of done it just playing around with it really quick and didn't take a lot of time. It could still be uh, cleaned up quite a bit if you take the, the smoothing tool, make it like on point two and round off that little edges I had. Real easy to do. Now, I would only suggest this if you just had one letter to do. So this is a, I just actually found a font that's called Mr. Sunshine. I'm gonna make a duplicate of it because you have to turn it into a curve to do this. Go to object, convert to a curve, and then I'm gonna left click, right click. That particular font has like a, kind of like a circle drop, teardrop, and so does that one, and even some of the letters do. So if we were gonna kind of mimic that, I would just draw an ellipse and put it about right there. A couple of ways you could do this. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna make a duplicate of this and move it out of the way and try it a different way. <clears throat> but then just take your, under your line to your three point curve line and just kind of go from the top to there to there and then just give a little bit of curve. Go kind of from there to maybe up in there and give a little bit of a curve. Then just take your virtual segment delete key and delete those two lines and voila, you have an H that looks like that. The other way I was kind of thinking about would be to maybe use the uh, artistic media tool and we'll just try it. I am going to get the two point curve line and I'm going to go from like the middle part of that down to here and I didn't get the two, three point curve line. Go from like the middle here and put it like right there and then curve it. Then go to your artistic media tool and pick one that is got a rounded corner on one end. And I'm gonna think, let's go down. I guess there's not one that just has, well, we can do it with this, but it's gonna be backwards. And then just touch that and go up here and make this a little bit, whoa. Um, let's make it point 0.1. And you can see maybe it's point, point 0.15. And you can see that I needed to um, you know, to flip it, we're going to have to go to object and break the artistic media apart. And then what we can do is get rid of that line, which we need to anyway. And then I'm going to flip it a couple ways. Maybe flip it back. Flip it. Not really working too good for me. Whoop, I grab the line or grab the font. Let's, uh, let's rotate it and then flip it. There we go. That's kind of what I wanted. I am going to go ahead and go left click, right click, so we'll get an outline. <clears throat> and then from here, you can just kind of move it around. And you can, you know, elongate it and do whatever you want to with it. You could probably actually stretch it out, make it look more like this. Really, the other way is going to be kind of better, but uh, kind of gives you an idea. Now, we can make that look really good if we take the Smart Fill tool. I'm going to go ahead and set it on black. Fill that in and let's nudge that out of the way. And then I always like doing it in hairline or at least a line. That is a hairline is black. And then just take your, if you don't have the smoothing tool, which started at X7 or above, you can just get, grab the shape tool and delete some nodes to get that kind of a curvature. Pretty easy. Fill that in. Fill all the other, let's, let's, uh, let's go here. Let's use this one. We're turning into a curve. Now we're going to break the curve apart and we're going to, uh, just put this H in that spot. It's a bunch of lines. 
and then take all this and make it black and then bring your H in. Of course, you'd want to do this with the nudge tool. So there's two different ways you could change that font and make it look pretty good. And if there were some other letters, I can't really tell in the picture, but they're all kind of the same. You know, they're, so if you just have, you know, you wouldn't want to do this for a whole bunch of words. It would take you too long. <clears throat> anyway, I hope that just gave them some suggestions and thank you for watching.